Well, happening today, the man accused of murdering a Central Ohio faith leader will answer to those charges. The imam's family says they're hoping to learn more about a motive. He was not part of the community. He was not part of my dad's personal life, so I don't know how how he came into contact with them. Now, 10 TV's Tino Ramos is following today's court hearing. And Tino, what do investigators know at this point? Yeah, you know, they're revealing some information, other information they're kind of holding tight to their belt right now. But we, what we can tell you is, in terms of what's going on today is the 46-year-old suspect, the man who was arrested, will appear right behind me here in court for the first time facing that judge and facing a murder charge. Now, let me show you. This is the man who was arrested earlier this month. He is John Wooden Jr. Matter of fact, detectives say that he shot Dr. Muhammad Hassan Adam multiple times and left his body inside a van at the corner of Joyce and Windsor Avenue. This was back in December. Police say it happened after a business transaction, uh, but through the help of Columbus Police and other agencies, police were able to find a key piece of evidence that linked Wooden to the imam's death. We um, conducted a search warrant at his residence, recovered a firearm, which subsequently was ballistically matched to the, the casings from that firearm. The test casings were subsequently matched to the homicide scene, some casings left at the scene. Now, here's another thing that investigators did reveal to us. They do not believe that Wooden acted on his own. So this investigation continues on. In the meantime, again, Wooden appearing before a judge facing that murder charge later on this morning. Of course, 10 TV will follow the story. We'll bring you more coming up next half hour. In downtown Columbus, Tino Ramos, 10 TV News.